And welcome back to this Monday morning. With Valentine's Day just around the corner, a lot of people's uh, thoughts, if you will, are turning toward love, and it, it can be an especially difficult uh, holiday for those who are single. And to talk more about finding love in the right places, uh, Dr. Ida Green is here this morning from San Diego. She's the author of Looking for Love in All the Wrong Places. Dr. Ida Green, thanks for joining us this morning. We appreciate it. It's a pleasure. What uh, would you say is the biggest mistake that people make when they're out there, quote, looking for love? Well, they look in the wrong places. Some places are bars, some places are prisons, places where you should not look for love, should not ask friends of your ex for, for to get help you get love, and certainly you should not try to find it on your own. Yeah, uh, th those are certainly good things to keep in mind. To some of us, that seems obvious, but unfortunately today for a lot of people, it's not uh, so obvious. Before I got married, I, I had read a couple pieces of advice. One was find somebody a lot like you and, and in a sense, don't look for it. You just go out there and just be yourself and, and be the best you that you can possibly be. Then it'll happen. Thoughts Absolute, on that? Absolutely. You know, I have a love formula. The one is let love happen. Yeah. Let your friends know that you're looking for love. The other is be open. Create a space for love to show up. And just, you know, the other is verbalize it. Mm -hmm. Let your mind, your heart, and every part of your body hear it. And expect it to show up. Once we expect it to show up and we create a space for it, it happens. Mm -hmm. And uh, what uh, bit of advice would you give to people uh, in order to help them make it happen? You, you make it sound so easy. For those who have been out there looking for it for years, th they might not buy exactly what you're selling right now. I think most people, life is so cluttered and they are doing so many things, they really don't have space for love to show up. Mm -hmm. You have to create the space, but the biggest thing you have to expect is you get, many people get into doubt and think, well, it hasn't happened, will it happen? It will eventually happen. It may take a year, mm -hmm. it could take two years, but it will, love shows up. It finds us, we have to be the love that we want to have. Yeah. Uh, a lot of people today are looking for love online. A lot of these, you know, online services, dating and, and you know, matching people up, this kind of thing. Your thoughts on, on that approach and can that be effective? I heard some people talk, that in my book I interview some people and I talk and some people find it on airplanes, some people find love uh, online. Mm -hmm. So I think love will find you when you're ready for it. Okay. Okay, uh, terrific. So you, you think the online approach can be a good way to go? It, for some people, it's worked. Okay. So I, I, wouldn't, I wouldn't rule it out. Okay. Uh, top three bits of advice that you would have for people today looking for love? I would say be open for love, mm -hmm. expect love to show up, and know that you are loved in action. Okay, well, terrific. Uh, the book, again, is uh, Looking for Love in All the Wrong Places by uh, Dr. Ida Green. Uh, is it available on Amazon.com? Absolutely. And that's probably the best Barnes way to and get Noble. it. And yes. Barnes & Noble as well. Yes. Any thoughts in closing? The one thing I would like to say is that love, we are love. Be the love that you want to find. Okay, terrific. Spoken from a person <laughs> who I think uh, does well at love and in love, I can just tell. Dr. Ida Green from San Diego, author, Looking for Love in All the Wrong Places. Thanks for joining us. We and my it. website is www.askdrida.com. Askdrida.com. Terrific. Thanks for joining us.